I like the way you spoon it to me. Shh. <laughs> Welcome back to Chasing Our Roots. I'm Vanessa, and today we're hanging out with Chef Erica Lasser from Diva Dog. So we're going to be doing our apple pie bread pudding, and I use a liquor that has like an apple flavoring to it for the sauce. Have you had that before? I have not had that combination before. Okay, well, good. I would say that it's an easy dish, but it depends on the type of cook you are. So I am really excited to make this dessert with you, so let's go ahead and get into it. We have five eggs here, right? Kind of mix that up a little bit. So we're gonna put the milk, but I'm not gonna put all the milk. I'm kind of reserve a little bit. So we have the cream here that we're gonna add in. So my storefront, I loved. It was like all brick on the inside, but it was like, I was there every day, couldn't get away. That's not what I, I wanted to do. I wanted to have a business where I had the freedom to still be creative. So has your menu or recipes changed because you're not using a storefront anymore? You're on a food truck? So I had to condense my menu a little bit. So I just cut it down to two, which is my diva dog and the alligator sausage, as well as just some other items that I have. Of course, <laughs> the bread pudding. <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit of sugar, and I always put more sugar than I probably need. And then we have our vanilla, cinnamon, and then we just mix all of this together to make our custard. I'm the kind of cook that doesn't really measure, so I'm, I'm gonna try to go buy a recipe. I just know it's gonna come out the way I, I like it. I put love into my food, and when I'm in a, a great mood, my food tastes even better. Go as close as you can without taking off too much of the apple. Just take it, cut the sides off. And I'm a girl that hates to waste anything. I take everything off. So why do you choose to use Granny Smith apples instead of like a Red Delicious apple? Granny Smith is pretty much a traditional apple that you would use if you made an apple pie. Apple pie and bread pudding like typically aren't supposed to go together. But you have that custardy style flavor soaked in with this baked yummy bread. So let's add in the bread. This is nice and moist right here. And so now we can add in our apples that we cut. Okay. And I like that it's like the chunks are not too big. So this definitely smells like the beginning of fall. Like in yes. the seasons, changing. I mean, it works year round for my customers. I use my hot dog buns. Like it was a, a moment where I had ordered too many buns for an event. I can't throw this bread away. Like I just cannot do it. And so I grind it all up and kind of made bread pudding and it's, tastes better than when I was using French bread. And this is kind of like a technique I learned when I was in culinary school. So we're gonna pour that in there. I make it the same way I've, I was taught as a little girl to make it. Now we're gonna put it in the oven at 350. So when I'm at home, it's, it's just pretty much putting cream in the pot, thickening it up with some cornstarch, adding sugar to it and as much liquor as you want to and drizzling that right on top oh, of wow. it. Um, I put it on a stove, brought it to a bowl and it kind of reduced a little bit. So we'll add like a little bit of cornstarch to it. So this is just gonna thicken it up just a little bit more. So so be more pudding-like. Then put a little bit of more cinnamon sugar in. We're gonna taste this here. And for me, I still need more sugar. <laughs> and so now we're ready for the good part. That nice apple Ooh, smell yeah. to it. Yeah, definitely gonna have everything come together. This is gonna be so good. So it's nice and good. So we put that back on the stove for a little bit. I'm chefing it up. So you can really see that it's like really thickening up. Yeah, nice thickness to where it just comes off really, really smooth on your spoon, spatula, whatever you're using. This is gonna be good to go right mm -hmm. here. I like this consistency right here. So we're gonna put that in the bowl and watch how pudding-like it comes out. So we'll just add a little bit of the apples here. Sauce is nice and ready for us, so let's go get the pudding. Okay. All right, Ooh. see that color, nice that and golden. Food. It's like really crunchy. Is it? You can tell because it starts to kind of puff up just like a little bit. So I just kind of take a butter knife and kind of dab it in the middle just to make sure that center is kind of cooking all the way through. What I want to do just to make it pretty for presentation wise, now I do not do this on the truck. Pop that on the plate, look how beautiful Ooh, that is. Wow. You can see like a definitive crust and yes. then like the gooeyness yes. of the bread pudding. Let's take that sauce and you put it on there however you want. And then we still have some cut apples over here. I present to you <laughs> my cognac apple pie bread pudding. Thank you so much, Chef Erica. I am so excited to try this. I'm gonna dig into this right now. Please okay. do. Goodbye. Enjoy. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and dive in. Ooh, it's perfect. You can taste the crunchiness of the apples, the crispy layer, all the moisture inside the bread pudding, the cinnamon and the sugar, it all comes together. And even that like hint of cognac, you can taste all of that passion that she really puts into her food. It's so, so good. Here, try it. Ooh, it's funny because I don't like apple pie, but I like this. Mm -hmm. That was really good. It's good. You guys have to just come to New Orleans and just try this for yourself. Check out the bread pudding. It is so amazing here. So that's it for us here at Diva Dog. Thank you to Chef Erica and her entire team for letting us come hang out. And Thank you for watching Tasting Our Roots. Bye.